Hi, I'm Craig Summers, a naturopathic doctor and nutritionist, and today's topic, thyroid nutrition. Did you know that there are 25 million Americans who have been diagnosed with thyroid disease today? And experts estimate that there are at least another 15 million Americans who have undiagnosed thyroid problems. Women are four times more likely than men to experience a thyroid problem. And they say that one out of every eight women will experience a thyroid problem in their lifetime. And that one out of every five women over the age of 60 have a thyroid problem. But you know, modern science has discovered that there are many nutrients involved in the production of thyroid hormones. I'm going to share a list that I've compiled of those nutrients and what those nutrients are needed for. But you know, as time grows on and science progresses, that list will grow longer. Vitamin A activates a gene that regulates TSH. People with a low thyroid function have a reduced ability to convert beta-carotene into vitamin A. That is why people with a low thyroid function sometimes look yellow. Vitamin B2 is needed for thyroid enzyme regulation. B2 assists with the organification of iodine. Organification is a biochemical process that takes place in thyroid glands, where iodine and other nutrients are used for the production of thyroid hormones. Vitamin B3 is also needed for the organification of iodine. Vitamin B6 is one of the many nutrients required by an enzyme responsible for proper T3 production. Vitamin B12 is also required for proper T3 production. The deficiency of vitamins B6, B9, or B12 can lead to an elevated homocysteine level. An elevated homocysteine level has been linked to hypothyroid conditions. Vitamin C assists in the healthy function of the NIS, which allows the cells to absorb iodine. Vitamin D is also needed for proper T3 production. Copper is needed in trace amounts to produce TSH. It is also required for T4. When the body supply of copper is low, the T4 production goes down. Iodine is a crucial building block of thyroid hormones. They call thyroid hormone T3 because it has three iodine molecules and T4 because it has four iodine molecules. Iron is also required by an enzyme responsible for proper T3 production. Magnesium assists in the regulation of thyroid function. Selenium is needed for the production of an enzyme that controls the removal of iodine molecules to convert from T4 to T3, T3 to T2, and T2 to T1. Selenium also helps the body recycle its iodine stores. Zinc assists in the conversion of T4 thyroid hormone to the more active T3 thyroid hormone. When zinc is low in the body, TSH, T4, and T3 can become low in the body. L-tyrosine is an amino acid that is very important for the thyroid gland. It works with iodine to activate T3 and T4. L-tyrosine attaches itself to iodine atoms to form active thyroid hormones. The following foods should only be consumed occasionally if you have a low thyroid. They are referred to as goitogens and can lower thyroid function. Almonds, canola oil, corn, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, cabbage, collard greens, millet, pears, turnips, mustard, peanuts, pine nuts, peaches, and soy. For those people that have autoimmune thyroid conditions, I suggest avoiding gluten because there's been a recent connection between gluten intolerance and autoimmune thyroid disease. Another factor to be aware of is how stress affects the thyroid. When we are stressed, we produce a stress hormone called cortisol that inhibits thyroid hormones. Prolonged stress can eventually lead to hypothyroidism. Every organ and every system inside of bodies have requirements for different nutritional elements so that they can function. It is extremely difficult in these modern times to get all of those nutritional elements from diet alone. Another factor to consider is that we all come from different gene pools and we all have different lifestyle habits. In other words, we all have different requirements for all of these nutritional elements. My recommendations are these. Number one, getting tested. Going to someone who uses a really great lab, such as Spectracell Laboratories, where they look 
inside the white blood cells to determine long-term nutritional status. Not getting one of these serum blood tests, which gives you a very short, in other words, a snapshot in time, it doesn't give you long-term nutritional status. And number two, a really great diet with a really great supplement, such as a whole food extracted product, such as this, raw vitamins from Sun Warrior. They make a product for him and another one for her. There's no synthetics. Remember that synthetic vitamins, which are found practically everywhere, can be counterproductive inside our bodies. 100% whole food extracted vitamins. These are the type of vitamins that our body recognizes and that our body can use to help us prevent nutritional-related disease.